The second component of uh, North America is uh, a look at its uh, continental locations. Uh, from the perspective of a uh, continental location, uh, North America can be divided into major physiographic regions. Uh. Cordillera is uh, a general highland formed in different periods uh, and by different processes, such as the Western Cordillera of North America and South America. Yukon River is uh, the largest uh, river in the whole of this region and it also goes on to form the largest delta of North America. Coast Ranges have a uh, very large uh, and it has the largest temperate latitude ice fields in the whole of the world. Most of these ice fields uh, happen to be in the Arctic region. So we're going to be calling it as polar ice fields. Uh. Yosemite is uh, the best example of hanging valley waterfall. A waterfall that under sunset turns into a firefall. Now this is a spectacle of sorts. So that is a uh, it is a, a hanging water, a waterfall. That means uh, it has been formed in a valley that was formed by a formed by glacial activity. The whole of the Rocky Mountain region is crossed by Kicking Horse Pass. The Rocky Mountains are geologically complex system with a Zach Peak as well as a flat top elevations formed in the late Cretaceous and early tertiary. Columbia Plateau is uh, one of these uh, basaltic plateaus. It has been formed by the basaltic eruption in the same manner as uh, the Maharashtra Plateau had been formed. It is over this that a river flows that is called uh, the Columbia River. And uh, Columbia River is known for one of the greatest volume of a uh, flow of water of any North American river in the Pacific. Uh, Snake River Plateau is called by the name of Columbia Snake River Plateau and it really moves in the form of a snake. Uh, one goes on to take a satellite picture of it and one is able to understand why is it that this name has been actually given. Yellowstone National Park. The Yellowstone National Park is in Wyoming, Montana and Idaho and is widely held to be the first national park in the whole of the world. Most of it is going to be in Wyoming. The park is known for its wildlife and it has many geothermal features. The best known of this geothermal feature is going to be called as the Old Faithful Geyser. Old Faithful Geyser is one of the most popular spots in the region and this geyser has been erupting periodically and faithfully and on time for the last who knows how many years of sorts in this. Located in the desert is one of the most popular tourism spots in North America primarily because it's a gambling station and that is Las Vegas. The less said about this sin city, the better it is here. Appalachians are a relict mountain product of a Caledonian orogeny, meaning that eh, these mountains have formed eh, before the tertiary orogeny. Away from it, away from it, externmost portion is going to be called as Piedmont, and then there is Fall Line. Canadian Shield, incidentally, is the largest physiographic region in North America. The Canadian Shield refers to the exposed portion of the continental crust underlying North America. That means over this crust, not too much amount of a deposit has taken place. This crust, otherwise known as the North American Craton, consists of a rock from the Akin and the Protozoic Eons and extends all the way from Mexico to that of a Greenland. Now it's a different matter that in Candia Shield that is the largest exposure of such type of rocks that are found. Repeated advances of glacial ice has escorted this surface and left it strewn with countless lakes, that means many lakes many rivers, many streams and many ponds. So the whole of the region was covered by glaciation and as the glaciers melted, as they receded, what they left was some places there was water, some places there were some ponds, some places some streams and so on. The entire region, that is the entire plain of the region has many rivers draining into it. One of them is Mississippi. Mississippi flows from its source at Lake Itasca in northern Minnesota to its mouth in Gulf of Mexico. Tennessee has been known for the fact that it has been used for the purpose of harnessing its water for a hydropower project. The first 
एंड द फर्स्ट एंड द लार्जेस्ट मल्टीपर्पज प्रोजेक्ट एवर टेकन एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दैट वॉज कॉल्ड बाई द नेम ऑफ टेंसी वैली अथॉरिटी 